So today, we're going to talk a little more about portals. We made a portal or a window here last week, and we're going to come back and we're going to play with that in the future, or you can you can definitely go ahead and play with your pages. But today, I am going to um, show you another hack. And this, I just take a cereal box and I run it through a die cut machine and cut out all these nice little shapes. I hope you can see those. Let me make sure that you can see them. So if you don't have a die cut machine, if you have a Cricut, you can do it on there, or you can buy them if you want to buy them. But I, I always try to, um, to go the least expensive way in my studio. I don't like to spend a whole bunch of money on things to create with. Uh, I, I buy good brushes and I buy good mediums and that's every now and then I buy an upscale tool but you'll see I'm going to give you a lot of hacks like that um, one we did the first day about how to uh, imitate a jelly pad okay I'm yakking too much so anyway I want to use the the book wrap um, that I took off my book that we're using, and it, the cover has some really cute things on it. This little cat here in uh, a bed of tulips, the women. I'm probably going to use this tree over here. I may use the words. Um, so and I love that stories thing. So that's probably definitely going to find a way in there at some point in time. So what I want to do is just find one of these that will do what I want and I think that one is going to be better for the women and I think okay Rebecca just pick one I think I'm going to pick that one for the cat so what I want to do is make sure that I have enough room here to cut it out so let me just fiddle with that for a second I'm just gonna come under here put my scissors and make sure I make it a little bit bigger again up here and I'm trying to cut through two things of paper so I don't want to do that that's a little much so I think that's good. Let me get every bit of that I can get. And before I trim the other side, I want to make sure that I know where I'm going to stop over here. So I think we're good. I hope so. Hope I didn't mess that up. I think that is just fine. So I'm going to take my glue stick and again, let me find my little IKEA cat catalog. That's what I do my gluing on. And, oh my goodness, duh, Rebecca, you glued the wrong side there. So let me, let me go ahead and lay this down on here and cut that out. Sorry about that. Talking and working sometimes doesn't work. It's one of those Mondays, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, so what we really need to do is put glue on our little cutout frame. That's where we need the glue. So I am going to go ahead and, which one was it that I decided to do? I think maybe this one. All right, let's, one of those measure twice, cut once kind of things. I think that's pretty good there. Oh, 
Oh, actually, that's cute right there. So I think I'm going to use that one. So what I want to do is put the glue on this side. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that out first. And when I was doing these, I put those awfully close together. So that's one of those times I was trying to conserve space and it worked against me a little bit because I was trying to put them too close. Okay. So let's just trim it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. And let me come in here. Make sure I'm putting it on the right side. And so I'm going to put it on the side. I hope I'm in camera here. I'm going to put it on the side that has the graphics on it. Let me get the catalog out of the way, turn this over, and go ahead and frame that little cat in there. I think he looks kind of cute right there. And I will go ahead and trim around this outside. And there's our cute little cat. And another little hack that I want to share with you today is one of my favorite ways to age a page. There's a lot of different ways to age things out there in this world. But one of my favorites is just old-fashioned brown shoe polish. And I just dip a stencil brush, a nice little stencil brush. Doesn't have to be expensive. I dip it in my shoe polish, and then I rub it around on a scrap piece of paper first before I actually come in here and do the edges. And you can see that is just kind of darkening those up to give it a little bit of oomph, to give it a little bit of age to give it a little bit of contrast on our page. And a can of shoe polish will last you for a really long time. And now when I put it down there, you can see how much different that looks with the edges aged. And there we have another portal for our book. Isn't that kind of cool? I love that. And get my shoe polish lid back on. And we can play with that. We can put that down. We can put something else on the page under it. I'll have to keep all kinds of things here beside me that I can use on the pages. Here's a whole bunch of stuff. Just old receipts from a receipt book, old tickets, just something that came with some socks I bought, some old notebook paper that I have written on that I don't need anymore. I love this picture. When I travel a lot, I will pick up books um, in the towns. And even if I'm going on the interstate, I will stop at state, uh, state welcome centers because they always have a lot of nice magazines and pamphlets and, and maps that I use in this kind of art. Old ledger pages, that's one of the favorite, favorite things that people use in our in our work. So I think I am going to use this under there 
and I'm just going to tear it up. And put that on there. And that's kind of cool. I might want to age the edges of that paper. And here's another trick to do. If you have a little flat piece of paper, you can age it on top of the, your scrap page. Just to give that a little bit of difference. See, I'm going to let you see. See how that just kind of settles it in the page and gives it some age as well as interest. And that's what we're trying to create. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do today. I am going to glue that down to this page. I'm not going to make you watch me glue. And I think I might take some of that just to clean off my brush. Take some more of that um, shoe polish and rub it around on my page to get this one a little bit of age. Okay, so I kind of like that. So I will see you back tomorrow. And remember to get in your studio and create and keep on creating. If you want to set the timer for another 20 minutes, you have my permission to do that. If not, you can stop at 20 minutes and be, be, be really, really happy. And if you'd like to see these videos in one place, Creativa on Facebook, it's my page. And it's C-R-E, the number eight, T-I-V-A on Facebook. If you just go on Facebook and um, and uh, put that in the search window, you should come up on my page. So anyway, you all have a blessed and happy day. I will see you tomorrow. May joy be with you all.